The Saturn V was a titan of thrust, but to reach the moon, it needed an astronomical amount of power, and that meant millions of gallons of fuel, some of it colder than anything on Earth. So how did NASA pump this frozen fury into a rocket bigger than a skyscraper? The Saturn V devoured three main propellants. First, RP-1, a highly refined kerosene, was loaded into the first stage, about 203,400 gallons of it. But the real challenge came with the cryogenics. The second stage used liquid oxygen, LOX, chilling at a frosty minus 183 degrees Celsius or minus 297 degrees Fahrenheit. Even colder was liquid hydrogen, LH2, the fuel for the second and third stages, kept at a mind-numbing minus 253 degrees Celsius or minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit, the coldest liquid on Earth, pumping over 326,000 gallons of LH2 and over 417,000 gallons of LOX into the rocket across all its stages was a monumental task. The fueling process typically began around eight hours before launch. It involved massive ground storage tanks, incredibly insulated transfer lines, and specialized pumps. Boil off, where the supercold liquids vaporized due to heat, was a constant challenge, creating icy clouds around the rocket. Safety was paramount, with every step monitored to prevent explosions from the highly volatile gases. This complex dance of hoses, valves, and cryogenic liquids wasn't just about volume. It was about precision and perfect timing. Successfully fueling the Saturn V was a hidden feat of engineering, just as critical as the launch itself, preparing the giant for its fiery journey to the moon. Want to learn more about the incredible machines and the brave people who pushed the boundaries of exploration? Then subscribe to the channel! Leave a comment below with your thoughts and hit that like button. Your support helps us bring you more stories from the final frontier.